Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up, y'all? I'm gonna post this as a challenge because I'm sure there's people that can do this better, but I wanna bevel. And I had to learn how to do this when I was doing uh, Baymax. Let's see if I can find it real quick. And he has this little piece here that I wanted to be a cylinder and bevel. First, I'll show you how I bezeled this. So I'm gonna add a cylinder. So that's our cylinder. I'll make it a little bit bigger. So the first thing I do is just validate it and it's 2510, so it's pretty small. I'm gonna voxel remesh it at 200. I know. So I'll voxel remesh it and then I use round edge and just like kind of smooth it out. I guess I don't really have to right now, but. So I'll just smooth it out a little bit or you can just use smooth or you can just not smooth it, it's fine. So then I'm gonna make it whatever like size I want the pendant to be or whatever it is. So let's say I want it to be this around this size. So now I want to make sure that I'm in orthographic and hit front so we can see it this way. So then I'll take select mask and use the rectangle. But the thing is, is we don't want uh, this symmetry. We want the symmetry across the middle. So we'll go to the symmetry button, turn X off and then tap Y. That way it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be equal as well. So I can just go like this. I don't really have to worry about the other side because it's gonna wind up being um, equal. So once we have that, then I turn to the top and I go back to the symmetry and I turn on show line. And then I tap the X and the blue and the, or the X and the Z. So then we have like a center point. Okay, so once that's turned on, you just go to select mask and go to ellipse. And you might have to adjust, um, I think you can adjust the ellipse. Yeah, so if you go into the settings here in the select mask, you can adjust these. So you want this circle, you want it to be a circle and you want it to be centered. So then you take your select mask and you make sure that you start right in the middle and use that crosshair. So you, okay, whoops. Select mask. So you start right in the middle, then you drag out. And you have your circle. And it should be on both sides. So that leaves us with this. So now I'll take flatten, we'll turn symmetry on. And we'll just widen it up. And then you can just flatten this bad boy. Oop, that would be like a little too aggressive. So let me make it smaller. And you don't want to do it too aggressively because then it goes beyond the mask. essentially just flatten out around the edge. I did it much smoother on the other thing. But anyway, I mean, it works, but... Oh, I was on a different mesh. So then you do something like this. That's pretty good. I wonder if there's an easy way to do it if I look at it from this view. I wonder. No. <clears throat> so once you have your circle, you take your flatten tool and try not to be too aggressive because you don't want to go like beyond where the mask is. Then you just flatten it until it looks pretty even with the mask. So something, something like that looks pretty good. You can adjust it if you need. Make it a little smoother. 
around the edges if you want. So then you're left with something like this, which is pretty cool. So we'll take select mask, we'll clear it. And then usually you can take a round it, uh, you can take the round edge. You can kind of smooth this down a little bit. And then you can just decimate it down to fairly low, however, however low you can get it. So something like that to get a nice bevel. That's what I use for the Baymax thing. So I was thinking of a different way to do it. I'm not sure if it'll work, but let's try. other way looks a bit cleaner and I have a bit more control so I like the other way better but uh yeah let me know in the comments if you have better ways to do like say a cylinder with beveled edges because uh, I'm sure there's I'm sure there's an easier way and I would like to know and learn that way I can share with uh, other people so if you don't mind sharing then let me know in the comments or make a video and tag me keep drawing keep sculpting I'll see you all in the next video